Hello, it's Michelle here from Mixed Media Art and we're going to look at creating some postcard art today. We want to use some of our favourite materials, so gather together some cardboard boxes, some gesso, two colours of acrylic paint and whatever foam stamps or found objects you might have lying around. We want to start off with a cereal box. It doesn't matter what size you've got because we'll use the main panels of this and then we can adjust the size that we cut our postcards to when we're up to that stage. So we want to cut off the flaps and the sides and using scissors to cut along the folds. That gives us two large panels that we're going to use for our postcard art. We want to start with a layer of gesso. So I do this by slopping on some gesso, adding a little bit of water to spread it out and then making some patterns with the paintbrush as we go along and also writing in that wet gesso with the end of the paintbrush to give it some texture. And we want to leave that to dry before we add any acrylic to it. Next we need to choose a colour scheme and here I've chosen two different colours in acrylic paint, one purple and one in green. So I start adding the colours with using two different paint brushes and here I've done it in a crisscross motion but you can do what, what takes your fancy. We want to make sure that we let it dry between applications because we don't want our colours to muddy together. We want to keep the two colours quite clear and distinct. Once I get bored of adding the colours, I'd start doing some stamping. So here I've used a foam stamp and then also a bottle lid. For this second background, I chose a different colour. I chose to use orange instead of purple. And here I applied the paint with a brayer, which gave it a slightly different effect than using a straight paintbrush. Foam stamps are one of my favourite things in using creating these backgrounds. So I use a paintbrush to add the paint onto the foam stamp and then stamp it a few different times and change the direction so the colour varies as we go along. When it runs out of paint, we can simply add a little bit more and continue on with our stamping. And there we've got our stamp background. If we find we've got too much white space, we can always add a little bit of extra colour in between it, but make sure it's dry first or we'll muddy our final pictures. Some of the found objects I like to use for stamping include two different sorts of lids, we've got a cork there, and also a filter which gives us some lovely dots. And we can use those to stamp in between the larger images to fill up some of that space, creating some really nice little patterns. If we've got any paint left over, I like panning some chipboard shapes in that same colour, so we can use those for embellishments later on. I sit those offside to dry. Then we need to cut our background into postcard sizes. So here I'm aiming for as many 4 inch by 6 inch shapes as I can fit in. Here I've managed to squeeze in 5 with a couple of off cuts that I could use for something else. You can adjust the size and make it slightly smaller if you're s or cut out less or you can use it to um, fit into the shape that you've got. Now when it comes to embellishing them, I really wanted to make sure that I didn't cover up any of my lovely background and I didn't want to add anything too thick which would make it hard to post. So here I simply stamped on some words in black stays on ink and then used some black ink to edge them and then I sealed all that with a spray on varnish just to make it a little bit more robust to go through the post. On the back of the postcards I stamped a limited edition stamp and then ruled a black line so it looks more like what a postcard would normally look like. And then we've got our postcards ready to send. So thank you for joining us at Mixed Media Art today.